Hello and welcome to another Beer and Code. Thank you so much for joining me. Today the topic is JavaScript. JavaScript is one of my favorite languages and I have not talked about it yet, so it is about darn time. Uh, but first, the beer. I am currently drinking the Vidmer Burr. Uh, and this is by Vidmer Brewing out of Portland, Oregon. And I love the winter time because that's when this one is available. It's just, a, they call it a seasonal ale. Uh, it's it's a darker, hoppier. It's just a really good beer for warming you up in the winter time. Mm. One of my favorites, Vidmer Burr, out of Portland, Oregon. It's fun to say too, Vidmer Burr. Anyway, JavaScript, and more specifically, Knockout. Uh, I've been using Knockout a lot lately as kind of a replacement for jQuery. Uh, and what I used to do a lot with jQuery was DOM manipulation, and that would be searching the DOM and then removing or adding elements or manipulating those elements in some way. And Knockout has been a good replacement because you don't have to write as much of that manual manipulation code. You sort of, it's more declarative instead of procedural, so you sort of say what the code's going to do instead of telling the code how to do it. And I'll show you an example of that right now. So the core of Knockout is binding data, JavaScript, JavaScript objects, to the DOM. So the JavaScript object, we call it a view model in Knockout, looks something like this. It's just a plain object, and it has some properties on it. We're just going to give it one. And then, once we have our data, we need to bind that to HTML. And to do that, you uh, write your HTML, and then you add a tag called data bind, or a, an attribute called data bind. And then you choose the, the type of binding you want. In this case, we want to bind to the text. And we want to bind blah. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to take this, the, the value of blah, and stick it into the text here. And to fire all of this off, you go ko dot apply bindings and then pass in the view model. All right, and now I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see, hi pops up. It binds the the data from here right into the text of that div. Now that's not very interesting at all. Uh, not at all. So let's make it a little bit more interactive. So not only do you bind from data from a JavaScript object to the DOM, you can bind from the DOM back into the JavaScript objects. So let's look at that. So we need to get some input from a user. In this case, we're going to use just a regular input box. And we're going to use data bind to the value. And now, to make the two-way bindings happen, we need to use something called an observable. Observable. I am having trouble typing. Now, what the observable will do, it will track changes and both push them up to the DOM and take them from the DOM and push them back into our object. So, let's refresh the page and see what happens. All right, now with our input, when I change it, it will reflect the changes in the text below. Blur. Hello, YouTube. Cool. So as you can see now, we're interacting with the DOM in a very simple way. There is, there's no code that tells the DOM what to do. Knockout handles all of that for you very simply. But this is still not very interesting. All right, so this next example is actually going to pull some data from our database. Let me show you the, the data that we're going to have. And right here, we get a, a list of cities from our server. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this list of cities, this JSON array of cities, and display it on the page using Knockout. To do that, we're going to still need a view model, but our view model is going to be a little bit more complex. So I'm actually going to go out into this file here and create it. So. Like I said, we're going to have a list of cities, so that's what we're going to represent in our view model. And it's going to be empty at first. And then we're going to load those cities. And I still use jQuery for that. We're going to use get 
and we're going to use this URL slash v1 slash cities and we're going to grab that data and use it and we're just going to take our cities and set into it and to do that we use the we call it like a method because it's an observable so now when we new up a cities object we're going to initialize our properties and then we're going to call down to our server to grab our data and populate that. So let's hop over here and use it. We won't need this anymore. We won't need this anymore. Our view model is just going to be a, a cities object, a new cities object. And we're going to need to loop through those cities to display them on the page. And to do that, we're going to create a div and we're going to data bind. And there's one called a for each binding. And we're going to bind it to all cities. So essentially, it's going to for each all cities. And it's going to loop through that. For each city, we're going to just print the name of it. So I'm going to data bind the name to the text of this div. I'm going to type it correctly. Text. And it's just going to be the names. And then we're going to pull the name directly from right here. So those two will match. And then uh, everything's going to work. We're going to apply the new bindings. It's going to load our cities, set the data into our cities, and Knockout will handle all of that for us. So if I refresh the page, it's going to load them, and then it's going to print a list of cities to the page. Neat. Uh, one thing I don't like, though, is that when I refresh the page, uh, the page refreshes instantly. But then because it's fetching data from the server, it takes a while to load that, and that looks kind of chunky. So let's put in an indicator to show that we're loading the cities. And to do that, we're going to add another observable. Loading. And it's going to be a ko.observable. And it's going to start out as true, because we are loading from the start. And then when we're done, self.loading is going to be false. And then we're going to go into our cities, and we're going to add some HTML to display that. And we're going to bind to the visible property. And we're going to bind to loading. So now this div will be this div will be visible while loading is true, so from the start. And then it will become invisible when loading becomes false. So let's put our message in there. Loading, please wait. So now when I refresh the page, you'll see it loading, please wait from the start, and then it will disappear when the cities have loaded. So that's a little bit better of an interface, I think. Um, the next little tweak I'd like to add is instead of having to set loading at the beginning and then reset it once we've once we're done, Knockout can kind of handle that for us using something called a computed observable. So a computed takes a function that will compute the values for us. And the, the function will rely on another observable. So we're going to rely on all cities. So we are going to say its loading is equal to true if all cities dot length is equal to zero. So if we don't have any cities, uh, we're going to say we're still loading. So now I can remove this line of code here where we're setting into it. I'm going to refresh the page, and you should see the exact same functionality, but with uh, a little bit more intuitive code. Yay! Uh, so now, as you can see, we have successfully bound from the results of here into our HTML with a surprisingly uh, little, little code. All right, so I hope you guys learned a little bit about uh, Knockout and JavaScript and HTML and manipulating the DOM. I know this was a pretty simple example, but I just wanted to sort of dip my toes in here. I'll be talking about some more interaction in some further videos, so please stay tuned. Thanks again for joining me. Once again, Vidmer Burr by Vidmer Brewing, uh, and cheers.